After maxing a level 3 skiller at the very end of 2023, I've decided to dive into uncharted territory by making my first ever true main account. I did have a main account in the past, but the farthest I've progressed was the Dragon Slayer and Monkey Madness quests. I've never gotten a fire cape, never did barrows, definitely didn't do any GWD, and I haven't even done desert treasure before. So forget what you know about my past accounts and that I haven't even touched a combat set since 2014, and join me while I play OSRS in its intended fashion for the very first time ever. This is Maxing a Main. Welcome back to episode 4 of Maxing a Main. In today's video, we are going to try to figure out how to get enough money for a bond to get out of free to play with these stats you can see here. I genuinely do not know how we're going to do it because bonds are currently 13.6 mil right now. Oh, there is no way the price of bonds went down. That is crazy. The last like two weeks, bonds have been like 13.6 to 13.8 mil. And literally yesterday, they were 13.6 mil. But now apparently they're 12.9 mil and I am not going to complain about that whatsoever. But anyway, I completely forgot last video to sell these beads that we got from killing the imps. I didn't even realize they were still in the bank until after I finished recording the last video. And another thing I forgot to do was get 33 attack. After doing vampire slayer in the last video, it got us up almost to 33 attack and I just never got it. So we're going to attack this guard real quick and get 33 attack. Our combat level is now 44.8. And it seems like the red and yellow beads are having a harder time selling. I'm already selling them for less than I initially wanted to. So I'm just going to leave them in the grand exchange for now. We already got 40k from just the white and black beads, which brings our current cash stack all the way up to 113k, which means that we only need to make 12.8 mil. Now, I have no idea how we're going to do this. I seriously don't. But in the meantime, while I watch some videos, I'm going to hop over to World 1 and stand AFK here in the Grand Exchange. And hopefully I'm able to find a draw party that's going on and maybe I'll be lucky enough to get some items. Okay, so didn't find a draw party yet. I'm just watching some more money making guides and free to play. Look at this guy's name. Isn't that magnificent? There's also this one as well. The names that people hang around with in free to play are usually pretty decent. And by decent, I mean deplorable, but you know. Ah, I didn't even see it. I just saw people just running around. Ah, I was watching a video. Oh, I don't know how long they've been dropping things here or if they're still dropping things. I don't know. I didn't see anything at all. <laughs> I just saw everybody pile up right here. Hey guys, just wanted to say thank you for all of the support that you guys have been giving me throughout this new series. My goal of this year is to reach 10,000 subscribers before the end of the year, and I really do feel like we can get there. So if you haven't done so already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks, guys. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, wait, wait. There's stuff being dropped over here still. Okay. I don't know where else anything. I was just there. I was just there. That was a one mil drop. Are you crazy? Come on. I'm not even close. Bet you this one's gonna be like over here, maybe. Nope, it's gonna be over there. And maybe over here. No, it looks like she's moving. No, no, no. I'm not even close. There's so many people here. This is ridiculous. I missed. Oh, ha, ha. Why are people running? Oh, they're back. They're back. They're back. Okay, 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 okay. Go. Please. No, no, no. Oh, I got a rune simmy. I got two rune simmies. Three rune simmies. I was just on top of that one. Come on. Yeah, five. Stop walking. I'm cooking with these rune simmies. What the hell, man? Why couldn't I get anything good with this? Armor set. Now here's all the good stuff again that I can't get. Come on. No, 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 no. This oh, whoa. Way over that way. No way, dude. That was totally mine. I even had the right click. Scared to open up my price checker to check what these rune sims are. In case more stuff pops up. All right, I'm going to open up the price checker and then you watch something spawns right underneath me. Okay, these rune sims are 74k. It's quite nice. I'm not going to lie. I even bought some energy potions just in case there's something that requires a lot of running to and I run out of stamina. So, yeah, I got the energy potions. And I, I was literally right there. Are you kidding me? Yes, 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 yes. That's mine. That's mine. That's mine. Please, please, please be right here. It was, but it wasn't mine. Neither was that one. Come on. God, whoever has pit here is being really annoying. 
Oh, nice. Nice, nice. Oh, I think I'm the one with Pid now. Oh my god, that's three. Oh, no, no, no. I'm like in direct competition with some other guy that has Pid that keeps standing exactly where I'm standing every single time. Come on, please. Oh my god, so close. So close. So close again. Please be right here. Right here. Maybe. Maybe right here. My hand is cramping from clicking. I just don't want to stop clicking because then I'm going to miss it. Maybe they're going right here. Yes, yes, yeah, baby. Let's go. That should have been mine, but there's a million people clicking as well. I'm going to check price real quick. All right. With the rune sims, the rune two H's, and the gold trim set, we're at 613K. All right. Let's get to selling. Oh, our beads went through. Okay. That's cool. And that sold instantly as well. Very nice. We'll sell all of this rune stuff as well. All right, so we have 499k from this drop party. And if both of these two things sell, we should be getting another 120k. Oh wait, some of that was from my beads, but it doesn't matter. We're going to add this to our cash stack. And we now have a 611k cash stack just from hanging around the GE. So I would stand here normally like this, and I would be able to see when things are being dropped. But if people do a drop party over here, I'm not going to see the train of people go over there to know to follow them. And those are honestly the better ones in these big mass drop parties, because less players are willing to follow drop parties as opposed to the people that are just hanging around and they see stuff on the ground, they click on it. So our chances are a lot higher if we find someone who's doing a drop party that takes us somewhere else as opposed to it just happening around here. But it seems like it's just been happening around here. So I guess until I'm done watching stuff, I'm going to keep it like this. And uh, yeah, we'll see if there's any more stuff that pops up. Hopefully there is, and hopefully we make some money. I'm going to lower the price of both of these. Got 120k, which brings our total bank up to 732k. We might as well, while we're here, try one of the money makers that I was looking at on YouTube. And that money maker is making pastry dough. So supposedly they're going for 234 each. And all you need to make pastry dough is a bucket of water, which costs 32 each, and a pot of flour, which costs 168 each. Really? And each one that we make should make us like 30 GP. That's not as good as I thought it was. Um, okay, so that's only like a 30 GP each profit. Uh, maybe we won't do that, but it won't hurt to try. We might as well just do it. We'll buy a thousand buckets of water, 1,000 pots of flour as well. And while we wait for those to buy, I guess I'll just hang out here still looking for more drop parties. Are they doing one over here? Oh, they are doing a drop party. Oh, I was going to end the clip there, but apparently they're doing a drop party over here. He's saying to go to Falador. Um, I don't know if that's real. I'm going to wait till he goes before I go to Falador. Oh, we just got a genie. Very nice going right on prayer beautiful well if we're going to falador this is the wrong way yes we really are walking at falador just the absolute slowest possible way are we actually going to be using the party room i haven't been here in so long i honestly forgot it was even here why does this keep happening to me by the way like i'll see people with random blue names they're not on my friends list they're not i'm not in a clan or anything i don't know why these people have what world what world is he talking to? He just said other world. Guess we're not going to the party room. I don't know where this guy is taking us. This is probably not even real. He says world 380. Yeah, we'll see. He's not even here. Oh, there he is. I thought we got scammed up in here. Now, what is he going to add to the drop party? Oh, my. Okay. Fair. Oh, mithril trimmed and adamant. What in the world? Is this guy just getting rid of his junk? Steel set skirts? What? Adamant swords? Bro. Okay, I guess that's it. I mean, it's better than nothing. This guy's giving away for free. Maybe we might get something decent. Maybe we might actually get, like, you know, a green dragonite set or a rune med helm. But, uh, yeah, let's hide others. There we go. And let's pop some balloons. It's got 17k. Green dragonite set. Did I just get 14 of them? I just got 14 green dragon hide sets. Got another rune scimitar. I swear the rune scimitars love me. Everything we got. I can't believe we got 14 sets worth 100. That's only worth 114k. Are you serious? But we also got a rune med helm and a rune scimitar. So we made 140 plus this 17k. So hold on. We made 158k in this drop party. Not bad for doing literally nothing. Look at this guy's name, by the way. How does that even get into the game? That's like so blatant. So we walked all the way to Falador, but in return, we ended up making 
158k. So it's not a bad trip. I'd walk from Varrock to Falador all day for 158k. But anyway, let's get back to bank standing and waiting for other drop parties. This is definitely probably the best way to make money in free to play, to be honest. It's completely random and is dependent entirely basically on your reaction time and your PID. But if you have decent PID and decent reaction time and you keep a lookout, you'll eventually find a drop party and get some items. All right, these pots of flour and buckets aren't buying. Just going to cancel the offer. I already got six pots of flour, but it's not really a big deal. I'll just chuck those back into the grand exchange. Once again, I'm just going to hang out here, keep a lookout for more drop parties and watch some more money making videos i do have a list of like five options of money making i want to try out but honestly the rates are still just not good at all in free to play okay I, i'm missing it again someone was just dropping bronze bars everywhere and so my guard was down but uh they just dropped like seven or eight rune sims and we didn't get a single one oh now they're dropping rune axes that are worth like literally nothing I know I sound ungrateful that, like, the stuff they're dropping isn't really, like, worth anything. Because it is free at the end of the day. I'm not gonna complain. It just kind of sucks whenever you pick up something like Adamant or when usually... Oh, okay. I missed that rune bar. See, look, they drop gold bars, rune bars, whatever. These are worth, like, nothing. Like, what is going on here? This is the weirdest drop party I've ever seen. Oh, I got the rune full helm. Finally, I got something. Got some- Oh, room chain over here, and I'm running out of run. I need to drink an energy potion. Start running around like a madman, picking up random things. Oh, here they come again. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Come on. Oh my god, I'm so close. So the price of everything we picked up from this super weird drop party so far is 59k. But unfortunately, I'm using a lot of my run right now. I'm also going to put all of this stuff in the bank so I have more room in my inventory and that my run doesn't go away as quickly. No way I missed both of those, dude. I messed myself up with that. Oh, I got one. Got two. Got three. How is this guy beating me on everything? There we go. Come on, dude. This guy is smoking me. There's like definitely one guy that has higher PID than me. And we're like clicking at the exact same times. I'm gonna need more energy potions. Um, assuming that these keep getting dropped, which they do. Oh, I was right on it. Oh, nice, 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 nice. But we're talking about babies. Start running, guy. My god, we're running out of room here. Oh my god. They just keep coming. No, I'm running out of room. Are you kidding me right now? Okay, that's it. I gotta dump these. Good, 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 good. Now we can keep going. Okay, so we did sell all of those Rune 2 H's, and we got 374k, which is insane. And then all of these Rune Simbitars, if we sell them and they sell instantly, please. Yes, we got another 220k. So we picked up 600k from the ground just now, which is actually insane. It brought our cash stack all the way up to 1.3 mil. Oh, they're dropping again. Room play legs this time. Oh, I got the play body. Got the play body. Let's go. Got two play bodies. No way. Have to get the play legs. Play legs. Come on. Come on. Come on. Give me a full set of rune, baby. <laughs> Nice, got the legs. All right, let's get everything that we picked up sold. We just got another 185K, which makes our cash stack now 1.5 mil. Yeah, this is definitely the best money maker in free to play, hands down. I'm just gonna sell this dragon hide stuff for cheap. But there's another 110K, bringing us up to 1633K. Oh, and it appears it is starting again. I don't know how I didn't get that. We are farming these rune sims, man. Oh, it's went the complete opposite way. Yeah, there's no shot I was going to get that. And now it's got... 
I was just standing right there. Oh, come on. Come on, let's run, run, run. Got five more rune sims. Six more. Seven more. How are people not beating me to these? Oh, they're going that way. No. We're missing out. All right, we got that one. Got that one. Come on. No, I misclicked. Got that one. I'm going to run out of run here. I'm going to miss that one because I was drinking an energy potion. Got that one, though. We are cooking right now. Let's throw these in the grand exchange so that they're not taking up all my weight. That's I meant to sell all of them. There we go. 161k again. And of course, I'm going to buy more energy potions just because they're helping so much. I'm definitely getting a lot of these drops because people are running out of run energy. So it's really good that we have these energy potions. Oh, there they go again. More rune simmies. Which way is it going? Is it going this way? Yes, it is. Thank you. You're going to be back here. No, it's all the way over here already. Oh my god, they're over there. These are so awkwardly spread out. I don't even know where to go. Oh my god, how weird. Like, why is it out there now? Now it's over here. Oh, rune long swords are worth a little more. There's another semi back there. I'm not going to go for it. I'm going to drink a energy potion. Pick up this one. Come on. Yes, yes, yes. He usually runs over here, it seems. Nope, now he's over there. I do not know. The Look at it. What? Why would you go there then there? What is... This is the weirdest drop. Oh my god, he's not even coming back here. Now you watch, he will. You watch. You watch. No, he's, he's still not. Okay. Nice. Okay, so we got another six rune simmies in the inventory. Bringing in another 88k. It's also 6.04 a.m. And I wasn't expecting to be online this long. I was initially just going to record the first clip of this video and then head over to the Grand Exchange and watch some videos on how to make some money in free-to-play. But all of these drop parties have been so frequent and we've been getting such good loot and I don't want to stop. We're already at 1.8 mil, almost 1.9 mil. And I'm so sorry if this is boring content or you don't like watching this. Keep in mind, this is just going to be for this video until we get enough money to buy a bond. But yeah, even though my pid is apparently the spirit of the rune scimitar, and we've been getting so many of them, we've gotten 33 rune scimitars in under an hour. But I am honestly really tired. I do want to go to sleep. So even though the rune simmies are still calling me, I have to go to sleep. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, so here's the deal. I was just waiting around the Grand Exchange AFK on my second monitor for almost a week and I had on a plugin that lights up my screen whenever something more than 15,000 GP drops on the ground and I was recording every single thing that I was picking up and the video ended up getting way, way, way too long. The video was almost an hour long and I realized while editing it wasn't going to make a great video. What I decided to do was cut out every single thing after this point in the video and I'm just going to cut to the end when I have everything that I picked up on the ground that's worth enough money to get a bond. However, if you guys think I cheated or whatever, I've uploaded the raw footage as an unlisted video, and the link to that would be in the description. So if you want to see me standing around AFK in the Grand Exchange, you can click on that video and watch it. It's not going to be monetized or anything. It's just going to be my gameplay of me AFK with music in the background, just walking around picking up stuff from the Grand Exchange. Picking up money from drop parties is definitely the best money maker in free to play. There is no question whatsoever about it. I know it might seem like I'm cheating the system in order to get all of this stuff for a bond really easily, but the reason I made it an exception is because every single player who logs in and does this has the opportunity to do exactly what I did. I'm not getting pandered to by any random people coming up and giving me free donations for a bond that normal players wouldn't be able to do. Anybody who wants to could easily go to World 1 and wait around for a draw party like I did for the span of about a week and have enough money for a bond. It's very, very possible and it's a big part of the free-to-play experience. I was going to draw parties ever since I started playing this game all the way back in 2006, so I do consider it a genuine part of the game. But anyway, with all that being said, link is in the description if you want to see the raw footage. But for now, let's skip to the end and see all of the loot that we got. Okay, so I think I have enough money for a bond now. I'm not sure, but let's check the price of a bond real quick and find out. Last time I checked, bonds were a tad under 13 mil. Let's hope that it stayed that way and didn't go up any higher. 
And the price of a bond is 12 mil? Really? Okay. I mean, I'm cool with that. They can go down all day. So hopefully we have enough in the bank. So let's do the big reveal here. You ready? I'm ready. Oh my goodness. This place is off the hook. And here we are. As you guys can see, I did get really lucky down below here with these hill giant clubs and this gilded chain body. I still can't believe that I was able to pick them up because just these items here end up being about half the price of a bond if you add them together, which is absolutely crazy. That really helps speed up the process. But as you guys can see, I have a lot of trimmed rune items. What I ended up doing was actually switching to world 308 from world 301. And the reason I wanted to switch over is because in world 301, I was standing around for so long and it was really hard for me to get a drop because there was so much competition. So I thought I'd try out world 308. And even though there's a lot of people still in 308 at the grand exchange it's not even close to as much competition and you have a much bigger chance of being able to successfully pick up items from the ground as long as you're quick and have pid so a lot of this wealth that you see here such as these trimmed god rune armor and stuff like that were actually dropped in world 308 and this guy was dropping stuff for almost two hours so i was bound to pick up some stuff but some of these really big hitters like this zamorak rune set those are almost about a mil each which is crazy but regardless let's get all of this stuff into the inventory and let's get selling and everything has sold besides this Bandos Kite Shield. I'm not sure why that's not selling for a good price. And after selling absolutely everything besides this Bandos Kite Shield, we have 12,073,000 GP. I think that's like the exact price of a bond. I could be wrong. Uh, hopefully it's enough. And I don't need to like stand around for like another 20 minutes trying to pick up some items. So let's put the offer in at mid price and let's see if it works. And it went through instantly. Oh my God, it's finally time. It is finally time to get out of free to play. I am so excited to do all this member stuff. Oh my God. Okay, and all of the GP that we're left with is 33,281 GP. That is crazy. We cut it so close. I thought I was gonna have like a couple hundred K extra, but I guess not. Looks like we're going into members worlds with a 33K cash stack. That's insane. But all right, let's redeem this membership. I cannot believe it. We actually made enough money for membership by picking up items on the ground. That's so crazy. But all right, let's log out. And let's get our very first time logging in to a member's world on this account. Oh my God, I'm so excited. There's going to be so much stuff for me to do. I don't even know where to start, but I am so excited. And here we are. Look at all of these members. What a beautiful, beautiful sight. So here are all of the free to play stats that we ended up getting before we got membership. We have a total level of 317 and a combat level of 44.8. And we only need one attack, strength, defense, hit points, or prayer level in order to get to level 45. I'm very, very happy with the way that this account has turned out. I'm so glad that I decided to do the free to play to membership grind because this is my first ever main account. I didn't want to miss out on some of the early game activities and free to play stuff and doing all the quests and everything. I'm not looking to play this account efficiently, literally whatsoever. This is going to end up probably being a very, very long series in the long run, but I do think it's going to be a really, really, really fun one. We have so much stuff to do and I'm genuinely so excited to do it. Thank you guys for all of the support in this series. It really does mean a lot. My channel has been growing like crazy and I have nobody to thank but you guys for that. I really do appreciate it. You guys are literally making my dreams come true here. So thank you guys for all of the support. We're finally out of free to play and we can finally get in to some members activities. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Drop a like on this video if you did like it. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe to see what I am going to do in these members world because I don't even know yet. This is like brand new stuff to me. I haven't done a single thing regarding combat in over 10 years. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next one.